Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is July the 10th of 2018. We've got some very crucial information here about the murder of Seth Rich. A man by the name of Jack Berkman claims that he has an eyewitness that's going to identify two people that was involved in Seth Rich's murder. He's got a press conference planned to happen today at 1 p.m. where this guy is supposedly going to release critical information that they claim will bring a resolution to the Seth Rich case. This guy's been tweeting about this and talking about this for a couple days now. He says, all press should attend my press conference Tuesday at 1 p.m. at the Holiday Inn Rosalind Key Bridge. We will present a witness who brings us close to resolution in the Seth Rich case. Just a couple of quick comments here from this Reddit thread. Now I'm starting to wonder if the deep state wants to get behind, get ahead of the SR revelations by putting this guy who more and more smells like a clown on TV to come out with some Russia BS. So this part, this poster thinks that Jack Berkman is a clown, doesn't know what he's talking about, just doing this for attention. Someone else agreed exactly this. That would be a serious setback. I thought we were talking guys from the DEA and ATF who did it. According to Q, it was two MS-13 shooters. It certainly would appear that a lot of people are questioning Jack Berkman and his motives behind this. Here's a whole nother thread. I'll be honest, I don't trust this Jack Berkman press conference about a witness to SR's murder at all. It stinks of a PSYOP. No federal authorities involved. Berkman is a never-Trumper. Deep state pulling out all the last grasp to distract. Q already telling us MS-13 assassins did it etc. You going to believe this dude or are you going to believe Q? I'm willing to read about this later. Won't waste a single moment trying to catch it live. This guy Jack Berkman is a lobbyist in Washington, folks. He's got a, a radio show called Behind the Curtain with Jack Berkman. Jack Burton radio show Facebook page. Jack Berkman is one of America's leading national radio talk show ho hosts. Now here, Jack Berkman is rebooting his Jack Berkman radio show. Get a load of this, folks. Lobbyists said he was nearly killed by man he hired to investigate Seth Rich's death. March the 20th. As conspiracy theories swirled around the murder of Democratic National Committee staffer Seth Rich, lobbyist Jack Berkman took the unusual step of launching his own private investigation, a man with military and security experience stepped up to help. Now Berkman alleges that man Kevin Doherty nearly killed him. January the 17th folks, conservative lobbyist was attacked outside his Arlington home Tuesday evening, police say. A conservative lobbyist known for his controversial positions was attacked and sprayed with a caustic substance outside his Arlington home on Tuesday, according to police. 
Arlington police say an investigation is ongoing and that there is no indication yet who may have been behind the attack on Jack Berkman, a Republican strategist and radio host perhaps best known for his attempts to ban gay men from becoming National Football League players following Michael Sam's 2014 entry into the league. On Tuesday evening, Berkman said in an interview he walked to the grocery store a short distance from his quiet Arlington Street, a few blocks from the Potomac. He purchased items for dinner and went home, so lost in his own thoughts that he didn't notice the dark SUV in his driveway until it was about 30 feet away. As Berkman tells that a man in a black jacket got out of the SUV on the passenger side, as he came around to the front of the car, put on a mask, that looked like something you would see in one of the movies of a bank robber. He had something in his hand. And Berkman said he thought the end is coming. Instead, Berkman said the man sprayed him with what he thought may have been pepper spray. The man yelled an obscenity at Berkman, struck him in the head. And Berkman screamed and stumbled, got back inside the SUV and drove off. Berkman said he wasn't sure if there was another person in the car. It looked professional, but who knows? Okay, folks, we just heard that version of the story. Now let's listen to this version of the story. Lobbyist Jack Berkman, who began a private investigation to the murder of Seth Rich last year, said he was nearly killed after a man who joined the investigation attempted to murder him last week, according to the report. It's a horror story Berkman told the Washington Post on Monday. Kevin Doherty, 46, who shot, shot Berkman multiple times and ran him over with an SUV. Hmm, little different from the other story we just read there, ain't it, folks? Conspiracy theories have circled around the death of Rich, who police have said was most likely shot during a random robbery. Doherty worked for Berkman as he sought to profile who they thought could be Rich's true killer. Tension reported he reportedly developed between the two as Doherty began to think the profiling project was his and began speaking to reporters without Berkman's consent. Berman fired Doherty and sent him a cease and desist letter in July, according to the news outlet. So it went from he got sprayed with mace to he got shot multiple times and ran over. Interesting, folks. There you have it, and you have a little bit of history into Jack Berkman. And once again, he is supposedly going to have a press conference today at 1 p.m., at the Holiday Inn Roslyn Key Bridge where he says that he's going to reveal an eyewitness that's going to release information on who killed Seth Rich and he also claims that the killers are DEA and ATF agents did it but according to QAnon, it was two MS-13 shooters. Folks, make up your own mind about what's going on here. Let me know what you think in the comments below about this whole situation here. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.